What's going on guys, it's Nick. I wanted to give uh, a little tutorial today. I've gotten a few emails over the weekend asking about my bottom strings um, and how to do an effective one. I found that the way that I've been doing them for the past, uh, let's say, two months or so have really uh, worked out great for me and I'll just teach you uh, how to do the same thing. Uh, and It should be effective to you. Uh, you'll use uh, a lot less string because uh, I know a lot of sidewall string that you might use, you'll end up just cutting off about a foot of it anyway. So why not use that to make the bottom string? Um, and I'll show you how you can adjust it and all that. So um, obviously, I'm just going to put the head on the on the, uh, on the bottom ground just to start, just to show you first. Obviously, you get I'll put in some better light. Sorry about that. Uh, you get your channel forming here, obviously. Then when you stop, you know you can do your double ups, SIs, all that other stuff, but once you get down to here, the last 10 diamond row, on a normal head, anytime you're stringing it, um, you're always going to notice uh, that everybody ends with a single or an interlock and then tie it off. Usually people tie it through this little hole right here, uh, the one that I skipped. Uh, I don't do that. Usually what I'll do is I'll do, it's basically a reverse uh, inside interlock. Uh, you can see it more on this side. Let me uh, just flip it uh, so you can see. Uh, you can see it better on this side. So that would what it would look like on the outside, on the inside. So what you do to start it is after your second to last knot, um, you would go in and you would go through the piece of uh, through the diamond hole, uh, back underneath the plastic, uh, around through over the piece and then down and then tie it off at the bottom. This is a superpower. Uh, let me show you the CEO uh, that I did. Uh, it shows it a little bit easier because um, it actually has a different uh, little bit of a different bottom string. Um, this one is actually tied so this little piece isn't moving on that diamond, the last one. That one will actually move uh, with the pocket. Um, but what you'll notice is that the, that last knot and the bottom string are all in a straight horizontal line going across. Same thing with the CEO. It's all straight across. I'll even put it uh, this way. Uh, and it's, it, it's just all straight going across. Uh, this one isn't uh, for uh, the reason that I wanted more of a bag in the pocket. but And that I didn't use uh, the same 10 diamond row. On the superpower, I did. I usually like to do my bottom strings in the 10 diamond row uh, so it's evenly flush. If I put my thumb up, you'll see that this here and where it starts is the same. So let me just get into how you can do this. Um, when you do your last hole, um, do the go inside the piece of mesh, underneath uh, the back of the plastic, around and through, almost like you're doing an interlock. But instead of bringing that hole uh, back underneath here and tying it off, bring it all the way to the bottom, uh, to the bottom string, uh, to the bottom hole. So usually four on every head. Uh, I usually bring each sidewall to the to the opposite uh, outside ones. And then what I'll do is I'll do a triple knot or a double knot, so that hole will become uh, really stiff and it wouldn't it won't pull through when I pull the string back through because as you notice, I actually pull the string back through the same hole. And then when I do that, if I flip it around, I'll show you. I pull it up through three rows of diamonds, and I crisscross, pull it down, same thing for the other side. So there's two floating uh, ones in the middle if you do it on the nine diamond row. On this side, uh, that is what the outside interlock looks like effectively. Uh, I apologize, the suit power didn't have it. I just uh, decided to do a little bit differently. So this is my stick, the other one's a customer stick. Um, but um, what it should look like on a normal stick is this. Um, you should have that floating, uh, that last knot uh, should actually be tied down and it'll be straight across in a line. And as you can see on the superpower, it had to be modified a little bit because they don't have four bottom string holes uh, in a row. Uh, they have two in the middle, really close, and uh, two of these big ones on the outsides. So what I ended up doing was bringing it around, tied it here, bring it back through up, through three, down, up through three, down, and what it'll create is that big diamond in the middle, and then I do, I count that one, one, 
two, three, four, and that's where I cut my mesh. So hopefully that's a little interactive tip that you guys can use on your bottom strings to save uh, some string. And then what I mean by adjusting is that if you feel like the pocket's too deep, um, you can always undo these and then yank them down if you want. Um, obviously what it'll do to the pocket is I'll show you in a second. Uh, just yank these down a little bit and pull the piece of mesh back up and the pocket will come down obviously so it'll become more of a shallower pocket um, but yeah to each his own um, so hopefully this will give you a little interactive uh, tool on how to make a good bottom string um, the only other things that I wanted to talk about was that I'm doing another giveaway and it is for the Easton uh, high school uh, stealth uh, version and I'll explain that um, and uh, actually I'll just explain it now um, I was looking over a bunch of top strings on the internet and they were modified Iroquois top strings so anyone that has ever bought in DMG mesh off of me I have a whole log of people that I know everyone has done it so um, everyone that's bought, in, uh, had bought a piece of mesh or had a string job automatically entered um, all you have to do is string up any type of head with uh, a bonnet with a top string that comes down to two inches or further down and you can be creative and use as many strings you want to see how many uh, how you can tighten it and all that you know weird stuff don't copy off somebody else because I have all the photos of you know other things that people have invented um, but uh, be creative and show me something that'll might work on a stick uh, whatever is the most creative doesn't make a difference if it's white um, if it's colored, two-toned, flashy, neon, uh, it doesn't make any difference, whatever is, uh, whatever is clever. Um, and I'll have a bunch of uh, other people that work uh, with me uh, take a look at it, and I'll announce winners. And the person that will win it will win the head, uh, strung up, uh, not like this, but with uh, white DMG mesh, and I'll throw in a lanyard as well. So that'll be the giveaway for April, and hopefully you enjoy the tutorial, and... Hopefully you got something out of it. So look forward to the giveaway, and hopefully that tutorial helped you out to do the bottom string on pretty much any head, and you should be good. So talk to you guys soon, and have a good day. Peace.